Hi there. Today we're going to look a bit at power generation uh, with solar cells and uh, wind turbines. Here we have a house which is powered by uh, solar, solar panels and we can see here the solar panels are on the roof here as we know them from everyday life and um, basically these are just blocks put here you can see the house uh, beneath so you basically just put the blocks here um, in a square and in here we can see that there is some power isolators that are connected to the solar panels so the solar panels generate power and the power runs through this um, these power lines and here we have a main switch so we can turn on and off power for, for the area. Here we have a power transformer which acts as a power distributor for an area. So solar cells generate power, runs to the power lines and to this power transformer. Maybe you can hear a faint bus sound here. Uh, so we actually know that it's generating power. Um, right now the sun up here shines on the uh, solar panels so they are generating power. Um, when the sun is on the other side of the house the, the sun rays don't hit the solar panels and so we won't ge generate any power. But right now we are generating power and you can always point to any of the power isolators for example this one and you can see the power grid production is currently about 5000 watts. Um, inside the house there are some lamps using uh, this power or refrigerators and so on. If you want to switch off the power, basically just hit the switch and turn it on again. So what happens when the sun goes to the other side of the house? Well, then we don't, won't have any power. So either we can have other types of power connected to this little grid or we can store power with, um, with batteries. You can also use other types of power production units. Here we have a um, large uh, wind turbine and down here we have put a number of batteries for power storage. As you can see here um, again, the we have a power transformer which distributes the power. We have like a main switch if you want to switch off the power. And here we have all the batteries um, that will store the power when the wind is not blowing. Um, the wind turbines will produce power according to the wind speed. So slow winds only generates little power and faster winds of course generates more power. Um, again we can uh, just point to one of these power isolators and see how much power has been generated. Here we can see there's about 150,000 watts being generated and the batteries contained currently uh, 27,000 watts um, stored up. Um, power can be used for many things. Um, here in this little demo we will use it for filling up this swimming pool currently it's empty we have built a pipe here um, and basically you can see down here we have the pipe ending here here it will suck in water and here's the pump which currently disabled I'm gonna enable it like that so now it's enabled you can also hear it and it will start sucking in water and pumping it through this pipe and here the water starts flowing into the swimming pool let's get back a little later and check how it's going um, if we switch off daylight we can see that we have actually light in this house and if we go, if we move over to this more modern house here, we can see it also has power. Let's just go in here, open the door. It's a nice kitchen and nice living room, like that. 
Um, the power. This glass wall here. The power is being distributed by the power transformers, as I said uh, earlier. And basically, if we hold down the control key, we can see the blue area here is where the power is actually distributed, currently distributed. So this power transformer over here will distribute you maybe in this area. And there's a power line here going over the water. Here. So the power runs over here to this power transformer. And this power transformer distributes power in this area. Holding down again the control key and we can see where the power is being distributed to. If we take a look at the house over here, we can see that it has no power because the blue area is here, it's not over there. Um, the power is being distributed here in this power line here all the way over here but it's not connected so we can connect it like like this so and now we have power in the, in this area uh, of course the solar panels also generates power but only if the sun is directly on it uh, otherwise it doesn't uh, generate any power. Let's see this Let's see this house at night. How it looks. It's like in daylight Nighttime like that We can also control the lights uh, and machines with switches and I'm just put a switch here and I'm gonna hit F2 which turn on signal lines edit like that I basically just right click on it and I point to a lamp like that and maybe to another lamp like that and also to these lamps here like that and I'm gonna switch off the signal lines edit and now I can basically just um, turn on and off the lamps here by just by clicking here. I just do it in at night time. See, there's no light here. Click the switch, whoop, and we have light. Click the switch off, turns off the light, turns on the light. I think there's a light down here also by the door. Yep. So we can connect several lights or as many lights or machines as we want and switch things on and off. Now let's go and take a look um, at our nice swimming pool, see if the water has filled up. Gonna walk out here. Ah uh, yeah, it's almost done. Filling up water in the nice pool. I think there's some nice blue lights down here for night time. Yeah, like that. The pump is still going out here and we can switch it off now if we want. It's not really needed, but um, just switch it off. Ah, some fish here. So, so just f to sum it all up, Power generation is from windmills, nuclear power, solar panels, coal, um, things like that. And power can be stored currently in these uh, batteries. And distribution of power in an area comes from the power transformer. Um, there's no really rules of how to put up solar cells or batteries or anything like that, except just they just have to be sort of next to each other and then that will work fine. If we, here, in the end, just look, it says power production is currently 138,000, some 100,000 watts from the uh, from the wind turbine and 27,000 watts from the batteries, which gives a maximum load of 150,000 watts. 
and we can see down here that the consumption is about 5,000 watts. That's probably all the all the the lights in the houses. If we decide to disable, well, disconnect the windmill like that, now the windmill is not a part of the power system anymore. And since we have no power production currently in the grid, it says grid power production zero watts and batteries 27,000 watts. So currently, all the lights, the entire area is um, is using the stored power in the batteries, and you can see blinks yellow discharging batteries the batteries are currently at 99 percent and that of course will decrease until zero and then the power system will go out so um, make sure you have at least you know maybe two or three different kinds of power so you're sure that you always have power and a number of batteries to to store up power um, so this is uh, all for now Thanks for watching.